Hi everyone, James here, back with another look inside the box review. This time it's the Airfix 172nd scale North American Mustang 4. Often the, the 4 designation is because it's in British service and it's a P51K. Could be wrong on that. Some nice computer aided drawings on the front of the Mustang and another one behind his wingman the aircraft's profile and the only marking you get uh, this was a starter set but I bought this second hand it's been opened and it didn't come with the paintbrush paint and the four paints and the tube of glue on the back is the colour uh, scheme and suggested colours plus the decal placement. Opening that up you get the instructions. Clear parts and decals and the plastic. Off with the canopy, the clear parts, you get two canopies for them. Uh, I think it's you can have one open and one just permanently shut. That's in a separate sealable bag. First sprue. You get the two fuselage halves, external fuel tanks, the prop, cockpit parts. Looking at the sprue, it's free from flash. The details crisp, the mouldings look nice and crisp. It's recessed panel lines. Show the, the detail. It's quite nice. Also, you get some cockpit sidewall in detail so that is the cockpit floor it's quite nice wheel detail also it's first sprue second sprue is the wing halves lower and upper Landing gear doors, the exhausts, some control surfaces, there is a pilot figure also included. Some nice um, wheel well detail, there is one ejector pin mark there, which could cause a problem when building the model it's quite visible the wing surface detail is quite nice also moving on to the instructions Front is multiple languages of a brief history of the Mustang. Opening up some safety information in uh, several languages. The assembly icon for when building the steps. Steps one. Two, three is the assembly of the cockpit and instrument panel, it's indicating you can put a decal on there if you wanted to. Steps four, 
is adding, I think that's the, the radiator at the bottom or the air inlet. Steps five, assembly of the spinner and prop. Step six, adding the cockpit section and prop to the fuselage and cylinder up. It does indicate uh, to open out two holes on the bottom. That's to add the aircraft stand if you wanted to. That's optional there. Turning over seven, adding the uh, air intake shroud. Step eight is adding the top and bottom wing halves together and then again it's indicating to drill for 1.0mm holes for the external fuel tanks. Steps 9 is adding the wings to the fuselage. S steps 10 is adding the rear control surfaces. down here in steps 11 is giving you the options to have the flaps up or down and then 12 and 13 is adding the the rear and the front again I think that's the the air intake or the radi radiator shroud and here you can have the option to have it open or close. Turn over to 14 is again the option to have landing gear down or up. 15, 16 and 17 is the assembly of the wheel and landing gear oleos and the the doors. 17 is adding the landing gear to the lower wings. 18, 19 and 20 is the assembly of the external fuel tanks and positioning and gluing. 22, 21 and 22 is the assembly of the cockpit, painting of the figure and then adding the canopy to the fuselage with the options to have it so open or closed I think there's a diagram here saying it's supposed to uh, slot into a groove on the top of the fuselage so it can be slid open or closed the pilot figure has been added, the exhaust and radio antenna has been added also So there's 21, 22, sorry, build steps. Then lastly, the decals. They're by Cartograph and they're looking crisp. The registers on them is good. They're not thick, slightly shiny, got a satin look to them. That's the decals. Yeah, you only get one option. So that's the FX 172nd scale North American Mustang 4. Thanks for watching.